guys, it's Anne, and today I am going, in this video, to do a comparison of a hammer technique and then a gentle mallet technique. Um, when I, the hammer, I seem to be able to control the splash, but um, the, the mallet, I tend to just like make a disaster in my studio. And I've got some fresh paintings drying and I don't want to cover them up with plastic and make a little paint kill room. So I'm gonna do a gentle mallet technique. And then I think I'm gonna also make a video just with the mallet dip and smash. Where I'm gonna put paint on the plates and then, so. Anywho, I'll get into that later. So in this one, I'm not even going to talk about how I'm mixing with all the paints for flow twirl and water like I usually do. And let's see here. I'm going to do the hammer first because that's messier. So I'm going to, I'll do the hammer first on here. I'm going to move the other canvas out of the way so it doesn't get smashed. Let me see if you can see. Yeah, you can see. Maybe I'll get you a little closer. Let's see here. There we go. So I had, I was the featured artist at the shop last night for a first Friday in a local neighborhood. And it was so much fun. And the coolest was one of the paintings I sold was to a fellow artist. And I love that. I love buying art from artists. I think it's just so cool. Um, and I've traded art. I've met people online. And we've mailed art to each other, which is always, it's just so cool. It's just a neat community. And it's, to me, it's special to own or to have own, I suppose. Um, uh, pieces from other artists that I know who put their heart and soul into their work. So last night was really fun. Um, and I am just coating this with um, Dutch Boy white paint thinned with Floetrol and water. And I know there are a ton of recipes out there for uh, mixing paint for fluid painting and some of the things I do go against what some of them are and that's totally cool if you don't like the way if you're not getting good results or you're not liking how the paint is in the way that I mix it try others I mean that's how you learn some people use pouring medium you know like um a pre-made like uh, Liquitex or so forth pouring medium and those have great results. I've bought that before and that's wonderful. It is expensive though so um, it's a little cost prohibitive but other people use PVA like Elmer's glue wall mixed with water as a pouring medium and I've done that a couple times. I'm actually today gonna do later with um, I don't have glue all right now but I've got, I'm going to start with some pink. I do have some Mod Podge. So I'm going to thin that out a little because when, when I first started doing this, I used Mod Podge and I did not thin it out. Oh my gosh, that piece never dried. It ended up the biggest, glooberiest mess ever. But that's how you learn. Um, and you guys know I'm not good with measurements. Um, I mean, I know how to do measurements. I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> and so, um, so I kind of do my own thing with this, but it works for me. But if you prefer, you know, exact recipes, that's awesome. Do those. Then come back to me and watch me for my techniques and my witty banter and use your paint. And also, if you have a great recipe, put it in the comments because I'll try it. I love trying new things. That's what I was saying like with the artists that I met last night. We're trading um, 
tips and different kinds of art that we all do. And it was just, it was really fun. So those two colors were, actually all the colors I'm using today are Liquitex Basics. That pink is, uh, where is it? I love, it's one of my favorites, the magenta. And that tube is empty, so I'm sad. And this morning I debated, I was gonna go to Walmart for glue all, and then I was gonna go to Michael's. But I am in my paint clothes, and I was like debating, should I go? I figured I was dressed all right for, uh, for Walmart. And the nice thing about going to like Home Depots and places is you don't even have to get dressed up because people go there mid, mid project. So everybody looks like a mess there. But then I decided I was just, I'm getting my hammer right now. Then I decided I was just gonna come down here and paint and maybe I'll go there later. Today I have nothing on my agenda. So I'm super thrilled. Okay, and I keep talking and I keep forgetting what I'm doing. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. So what I've done, oh, and I did add, there is silicone in the magenta and the lavender. I added uh, WD-40 silicone to those, just to spray. And you can tell I did, especially with the magenta, because it's spreading out. Gosh, I'm just talking a mile a minute today. I must still be on a high from last night. It was just so much fun. And I shared the space. You guys know I love to eat. And I shared the, they also hosted a pop-up bakery in there. Oh my gosh, she had the best treats. Oh, they were so good. Um, so now I'm going to smack it with a hammer. Um, let me let go of that paper towel. <gasps> Woo! Ha! <laughs> almost lost that. That would have been cute. Smack. So I, I didn't hit those very hard. I must not be feeling very aggressive today. So, you know, I should do a mallet, like a regular mallet right after this, because you'll see how much more, see, I like hitting it right where it hits the um, frame. That really gets it going. Because a mallet, a mallet really distributes the paint more because it has bigger surface area. Because, as you can see, the difference. But I really like this hammer because it's, the, when I first started, I had one of those like really heavy hammers. And that's the one, the one time I broke for a canvas was using that hammer. Um, I think it just, I just used way too much force. And take a little white, fill in the divots that the um, hammer left. This part I really love. I love that little um, cell. I am, um, you know what, I'm trying to decide if I want to Nah, I was going to see if I'm going to tilt it or not, but I don't think so. But I am going to fling some of this. I just love, I love the look of this. I don't know why. It just must be my thing. And last night, a couple, like half of the pieces I sold were the ones, I don't like this part, were resined. And I don't really enjoy resining, but people love the resin. So um, I may have to do more, you know, because right now maybe a quarter of my pieces are resined. So maybe I'll start doing more. And on my resin pieces, I love to put um, those flat glass marbles on them. And people really like that. So, and I like that. I, I just... Because I, um, I love mixed media. I love glue. I love gluing things to things. Um, you know, actually, I said I love this, but it doesn't match. Like, I just want to break up this edge a little. I don't, it's too, 
perfect, I guess you could say. There we go. All right, this one was this one was pretty. This one's a pretty simple one. So this, I'm kind of moving really fast today because, well, I guess my brain's just moving really fast today. I'm going to zoom you in. So that's this one. And I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. I'm going to push that one back here. And I'm going to get the other one. And let me make sure that that's where you guys can see. Yep. And we will do this one. And after the show, this neighborhood that it that my show was in last night, it's the greatest. It's it's a neighborhood, an old old neighborhood that has been totally revived. There is, it's just full of local music. Um, breweries with local beer, artists, tons of artists. It's just a really neat part of town. Um, and I don't go there enough because it is quite a bit of ways from my house. It's not too bad. I live, I live in a good sized city, but you can still get from one end to the other. Nothing takes you more than like 25 minutes. So that's really nice. Um, so after the show, my husband and a friend came down and we went to one of the breweries and had um, poutine. I think that's how it's pronounced. I know it's, uh, well, I know, I know it's Canadians eat a lot of it, but it's so good. The French fries with the gravy and the cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And this place was the first, I had it for the first time like a year ago, because no place else, like it just came to my city <laughs> like a year ago. So, but it's really good. Um, really, really, really rich, but really good. So, and that was like at like 1030 at night. So I <laughs> Had that and then homemade huge pretzels with Gouda cheese and honey mustard sauce. Oh my gosh. I mean, I was up like forever with heartburn, but it was definitely worth it because it was delicious. Plus, I was still, I was just excited about the show and came home, told the kids. My, both my kids were at work, so I was telling them about it. And then, you know, the dog's super psyched to see me. She was really uninterested in hearing about the show, though. She just had zero interest in that. Gosh, you would think the dog would be more happy. So I'm pouring in the same order. And whoops. Yeah, so that's about the same amount. See, now if I measured, well, I really could have gotten exact on this one. All right, and the blue. And now I've got my mallet. And let me get paper. I keep using paper towels. I saw that my husband is getting rid of a bunch of t-shirts. So I'm going to, after this, I'm going to cut them all up. And much more... Um, environmental and economical way to go. So this, I'm not going to splash it or hit it hard because that would get everywhere. So I'm just, so it's my, it's my gentle technique. It's the softer side of Anne. white. 
There's other wet paint in this drip tray, but it looks like it's just wiped on there. almost to nothing. But I'm just going to get it to drip down the sides on some parts. Plus I love edges. I love when I can see the paint dripping. Um, I really like this. I'm going to just I said, spread it out a little bit here. Kind of get it to the edge. Um, no, I don't like that. Let's get some more white, cover that one up. Ah, that wasn't good. Here we go, here's a bigger pile of white. Pile, puddle, whatever it is. There we go. That's much better. And, torch a little. I really like that one without torching, but since I torched the hammer one, if I'm doing a fair comparison, I would have to torch the mallet one. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, and if I had to choose, let's get this one edges a little bit more. I think out of these two, if I had to choose, I like um, I like the mallet one better, the gentle mallet. So I'm just gonna, I think, call that one the gentle mallet technique. I'm gonna zoom you in. Ah, I'm take, trying to take a glove off. It's not an easy thing to do. So I'm going to move you up. tray. There we go. Alright, so that one, I'm having trouble here. That one's the hammer, and that one's the mallet. Very, very similar. Um, fun experiment. I kind of enjoy doing the mallet one better. Um, I'm going to try and get you even like a better angle. Is that? There we go. Maybe I will take you off of the tripod. Watch out, you're going to get dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so sorry about that. I put the strap around my neck and kind of for 